Hey everyone, in this final video of um, the IK system, I just wanted to <clears throat> um, tell you guys about the inheritance thing that I was mentioning at the end of the previous one. Um, basically, if you have a system that, uh, that can apply to multiple characters, you really want to use inheritance. And this also includes basic things like health, um, perhaps if a character is swapping between our um, like weaponized mode and non-weaponized or so on and so forth, uh, you can apply it in a very wide range of things. So this IK system would be a perfect thing to, um, to slab underneath the inheritance system. And I'll go ahead and break that down for you guys. Uh, but first I wanted to just uh, show you guys that um, this IK system that was presented in the video series with finer tuning can actually look pretty decent. The numbers that you see on the left hand side is the alpha that we were setting before. Uh, notice how the variables are adjusting based off of the, um, the foot placement. I believe this is going on the right... yeah, okay. The numbers are associated with the right foot. So you notice that when the right foot is on the floor, it's at that 0.61 number. And when it's up in the air, you can see it um, maneuvering between the alphas. And the result of that kind of gives you this really nice fluid motion um, instead of a lot of ticking. The animation has a tick in it, so that's what that little jump is. But with better animation and this type of system, um, it'll look better. The running animation also looks pretty pretty decent. And look at that run up the hill. Oh man, so nice. Downhills still require some work. But, once again, further refine it and it will look pretty decent. Alright, now to talk about inheritance. So inheritance, all it really is, is you have essentially your parent class and children classes. So your parent class, you can think of right here. This is like your base. Um, this one, for example, um, in a game where you have, let's say, your player character and then enemy characters, or perhaps like a team style game, you can have your base class, which contains your team number, or uh, maybe a team ID. And with the team ID, you can set like this side to be 1 and this side to be 2. Um, so instead of having two entirely different things, like this and like this, where you have to actually go and like identify what it is and then um, link it to the... Um, like link it to that particular character and then actually get the ID, because it's underneath the same base, you can easily basically just go over to the base and say hey whatever I'm looking at get the base object and check the ID number and if that ID number is 2 I know it's my enemy um, and so with this IK system what you can do is put the IK system in the base IK there we go we can put the IK system in the base therefore when it gets passed down to its children Team 1 and Team 2, which can have multiple different types of units associated with it, um, they all, or everything uses the IK, because um, all of the properties and stuff on the base gets automatically passed down to the children. And so you can keep setting up a system like that. In fact, um, a lot of times, um, actually, in fact, the Unreal Engine, in general, is set up like this. Where, if any of you guys were familiar with UE3, you had your object class, then you have your actor, um, and then from your actor you can have like your pawn, um, and then from your pawn you can have like your specific pawn. Um, the pawn is the same thing as the character now. But notice that this inheritance happens. So the object passes all of its properties to the, um, to the actor, which adds on to it. 
and so on and so forth so that when it gets down to you even though your code may just be like a couple lines you have all the code from every single one of your ancestors and that is how inheritance works so you can essentially set up the same system by saying this is now your base plat your base class that you include that ik system in and you have your two teams and so on and so forth so I just wanted to quickly explain inheritance and how you can apply this um, apply like the IK system or any other system involving this and it should work pretty well anyways I hope you guys really like this series um, I enjoyed making it I thought it was a lot of fun if you have any um, any series ideas or really anything that you want to request let me know I'm currently working on a leveling and XP series that was requested by by someone and so you can go ahead and do the same um, leave a comment if you have any questions about the series please leave a comment uh, I'm pretty good at replying and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorial videos I'll see you in the next series